Hello there, good morning everybody. It is Wednesday the 1st of March 2023. Um, I am here at the Everton Stadium at Bramley Moor Dock. Turn you around. I'm here to do my midweek video. Um, if to remind everybody, let you all know, my midweek video is the one where I get up in the air. Turn you around. I get up in the air and address any comments and questions you put to me on my weekend video that, that come out uh, last weekend. There was um, there was one thing that I did I did uh, put in my video at the weekend that I I spotted something and I wonder if anybody else had um, loads of you did so I'll uh, I'll be addressing that first when I when I get up in the air um, so we're, we'll get up now I'm not sure if uh, the big the big heavy lifting crawler crane's connected um, looks like it is so we'll have a look if that's connected to anything ready to ready to do any lifting but uh, for now I'm gonna get up in the air. And take a look at this Everton Stadium at Bramley Moor Dock on the 1st of March 2023 and uh, address your questions and comments you put over. Let's get up there. Alright guys, so we're going to go straight up, um, as usual, straight up right outside the, the east stand. Looking, looking down at it. First things first, we, I, I thought it looked like that big crane was connected, so we'll have a look at that in the middle before I get started let's just have a quick look yeah it looks like it's connected to that that south truss there doesn't it it is connected so they must be lifting that um, today or maybe tomorrow um, unfortunately for me I am busy the rest of the week until the weekend so if it doesn't go now whilst I'm here I'm not catching it <laughs> unfortunately um, that's just how it's been with these uh, roof trusses now uh, at Bramley Moor Dock isn't it I've uh, very few and far between of it I'm able to catch um, we don't get the info which which is which is fine obviously but uh, yeah it's, it's difficult so um, we're gonna go we're gonna head around that way because we're gonna jump straight into these uh, questions and comments that you all put over now uh, we are at just so you know we're at 85 meters and we're gonna go first with Dave Gerard who said thanks Nick your updates are always brilliant so much happened on site now I notice what looks like a new roof section on the ground outside the west stand towards the southwest corner if it is a roof section then I'm guessing it's the first piece of the west stand roof thanks Dave yep that's exactly what I was referring to what what I spotted um, on my weekend video um, and I'll just go just move on say I, I just picked out two comments Lo loads of you did uh, spot this um, let's just wait for the police to go past loads of you did spot this so the next one is dig the lot Scott metal detecting who says hi Nick it looks like they've started construction constructing the roof truss for the west stand outside the west elevation great video once again mate thanks very much Dave and Scott so let's get round there We'll take a, a nice trip round the the south stand here. So this is going round the south east corner. Just looks great, doesn't it? I'm going to uh, pan down a bit because it's great when you get that reflection on the water as well. Of Nelson Dock, and we'll get we'll go right up uh, across the south stand until we get up to the the southeast corner and there look at that at the back it just comes into view the steel so that's what I'd spotted so we've obviously got the scaffolding and everything there but what I had spotted and loads of you I gotta move up because of a bit of signal uh, issues. What lots of you spotted was this piece here and what Dave and Scott have mentioned. So yeah, as I was flying around, I just, I, I spotted it on my, my small screen. Uh, I didn't want to show too much of it in my in my video because I wanted to see if anybody else spotted it. And, and yeah, you did, you did indeed. In fact, if I look up, there's put some metal across that put some steel across that uh, west stand now haven't they 
So is that part of the roof? Do we know? Let's move, let's move round there further. Cause yeah, it looks like they have put a metal there, like it starts of a frame. See it in the middle of the of the west stand. It's like the next the next section there. And there's one on the floor, so yeah, that was what I spotted guys, so obviously um a lot more starting to be done on the on the west stand now which is great and yeah like i say loads of you spotted it loads um I, I just picked out a couple of comments but yeah well well spotted everybody so we'll keep an eye on the the west stand for sure coming over the next um the next weeks and, and months uh keep a keep a very close eye on that okay moving on we've got uh dennis cartwright who says great video as always nick i believe that's the final concrete pour done on the west stand so i guess the west stand concrete superstructure is complete now for the final steel and fitting out. Yeah, Dennis, um, uh, uh, you must be right because as we've just seen there, uh, let's move around to the right, we've got, you know, the, the, the full view of it. Um, they, they've started putting like a steel framing on top of it, as we've just seen, Dennis. So you, you've got to be right there. Absolutely. That concrete superstructure, that must be that. And now they just start, <coughs> excuse me, they just start the, um, the steel framework which, so the, see where the, the corner piece is, there. The, the framework comes round and it's got uh, the, the terrace seating on. Then if you, if you go across to the, the northwest corner, it's the same. They're obviously going to be just continuing that, aren't they? And going up. Dennis, so yeah, absolutely, you're right. And it's ideal that that, that comment was on the west stand as well next, seeing as we're we're right here now let's get that that piece in view down there as well there you go okay thank you for that dennis let's let's move swiftly on it's very busy down here today i don't know if you can hear all the all the traffic and banging and everything it's it's really busy really busy this morning um right let's move on to andy mac dubai are you in Dubai, Andy? Or is that just your name? Um, great update as always, Nick. Thanks, Andy. Question I have on timeline. The time lapse of the build from the, develop from the developer indicates completion August 2024. That is a tight window for the start of a season. Start of season when you think about test certificate certifications. Although I understand they can be phased, stroke subject to etc. Have you ever seen a scheduled moving date? Uh, no, not, not a specific, not an actual date, um, Andy. Um, and if, you're right, but you know when they say moving date. So the only thing I've got is the same as you, like completion August 2024, ready for the the 24-25 the season. Okay, so that's I think that's the info that we've the, we've all got at the moment. But surely that can that can take into account the that can take into account the um, what am I trying to say? The the tests and all that, can't it? You know, the it's it's easy enough for them to to plan it including everything all all test dates certifications and all that so you know maybe they've taken all that into account so i'm trying to move my drone around the northwest corner there and honestly the the amount of interference i'm getting today is quite bizarre i'm going to have to move up again it's the the kind of line of sight with the drone you see so the more then we we move up it's got a lot better signal now the more we move up the the, the more chance it's got of getting a better signal so we're moving around the the north stand the back of the north stand now what i want to do let's go up nice and high before i move on to the next question i want to go nice and high so we can just have a zoomed look at what that that crane is connected to that's ah, hard to see from here we'll uh, we'll move round to the to the east stand in a minute move down quite a lot but for now let's let's move on to our next one that we've got 
let's see who's up next it is it is SD or SDE I thought that was SD SDE um, it's a good it's a big one keep up the great work Nick I'm in Dundee so I haven't seen the stadium in person so eagerly await your updates can't wait to get down for a game when it is open uh, with the pace the build is going at I can't help wonder if the time will come that due to the distance you have to keep that the drone won't be able to see inside the build do you envisage that happening if so do you estimate do you estimate we'll, we will be at that stage do you uh, I think you're saying uh, when will that happen ok so yeah of course um, stay SD thanks for your comments and yeah absolutely of course when as it as the build goes you know goes on and, and it becomes more um, more covered there's only so much we can see but when you look at the, the like the illustration video of the build um, and the plans the like the last thing to be done is the full roof coming on it looks like so hopefully we'll be able to to keep going um, right up right up until it's just come moving around that that north east corner hopefully we'll we'll be able to keep going right up until like like the end um, there's obviously a lot of external work and the finishing off and that to be done so hopefully you know I'll be able to keep going who knows maybe maybe Everton will will come good with the uh, with the site tour that they've that they promised but I, I don't I don't think so but um, you know other, otherwise I'll keep going for for as long as you guys want me to um, when it starts coming to the point where people are saying there's nothing to see or, or people are getting bored or stop watching that's when I'll stop um, SDE but uh, yeah other than that I'll be going right up until until the end and then at the end um, at some point in the in the future not too distant future we'll start watching the uh, the demolition of Gutherson unfortunately but um, yeah it, it is what it is um, and, and yeah but yeah thanks for that so so we'll uh, we'll keep going as long as we can and, and until until everybody's completely bored that they can't see any anything going on um, okay moving on Christopher Eden says hi Nick great footage as always thanks Christopher um, I had an idea watching this at the end of the weekend videos what about showing the stills as a comparison of one month prior for example for today showing today's stills and then stills take from 28th of jam then next week stills from yeah I get, I get the point um, would be good to see I'm sure just an idea keep up the work yeah Christopher thanks for the thanks for the the idea and the suggestion any suggestions like that guys that you've got I'm, I am all ears you know um, bear in mind that you're you're the people that watch that watch it so um, any any ideas like that you've got um, let me know what what I will say though Christopher just so you know I have to I store the all the footage and, and everything that I take and all the shots on an external hard drive and sometimes I'm not always in the in the same place as that hard drive when I'm so the hard drives in my office and I'm not always um, I'm not always there when I'm editing the videos but I suppose it wouldn't you know I could I could keep you know certain shots monthly shots or something in a folder maybe it's a it's a good idea Christopher and I do appreciate it um, but on I will say um, on that on that note is that you you could always just watch again my my <laughs> my previous month from the same date you know it'll it'll that's always an option uh, just re rewatch rewatch the the videos Christopher and everybody else <laughs> no I'm being a bit Keep it there. Yeah, it's a, it's a great idea, mate, um, and and I'll, I'll definitely keep it in mind. Uh, maybe maybe the odd one, I'll just do that. Maybe the end of the month ones or something. I'll then just start doing um, showing a shot from you know a couple of shots from from the previous month. So thanks thanks for the idea. And as I said, guys, any suggestions you've got, um, you know, even if you think oh, I'm not sure whether to put them in, you you can you can um, send me send me them uh, privately to my email address as well, which which I'll show um, on my I show my description and. I'll tell you what, I'll put it down here. Um, there you go. But yeah, you, you know, you can, if you want to send me any private suggestions, feel free to do so. I'm just trying to take a look at that. Ukraine. It is definitely connected to that. South, isn't it? South Trust. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Thanks for that, Christopher. Moving on, we got James Mitchell, who says, Cheers, Nick. Great video as always. Thanks, James. For some reason on the video, the stadium looks quite small to me. In particular, I can't picture how a full-size pitch is getting in there. Of course, it's all a matter of perspective, and I imagine in real life it's massive. Some clear progress on the East and West End in the last couple of weeks. Yeah, James, um, I take that. So let me see if I can give you a little 
um, you know, for, for a little perspective, you know, look at this, there's, there's men walking there, look how small they look on their jeans, as it just as a little perspective, I don't want to go closer because they're, they're in operation today, um, but look at, yeah, the size of the cranes as well, so those cranes are huge, and they're, they're just sitting there easily on the pitch, I was looking to see if I could see any wagons, because in the past there's been like trucks parked in the middle and they and they look tiny. But I can assure you, James, that when you're here, it is a big sight. It's it's quite deceiving and it is a really big, a really big sight. And bear in mind as well that the pitch is going to once all the so we haven't even got the lower, the lower like sections of the, of the, um, terrace seating in yet. So once they're in that that pitch will just fit nice and comfortable in there. Um, it fits, mate. Trust me, <laughs> it fits. Let's move up a bit. But yeah, I, I try, like I say, it's trying to get some. See what there's there's a big wagon right at the on the outside there. Yeah, it's still it's too difficult. To, I would would have wanted one to be on the pitch, but um, you know if you if you take that and, and place it on the pitch, look how many of them you could fit in there. Just to try and give a bit of perspective, but it is a big sight, James. I I assure you, it's a big sight. Um, let's move on. We've got Neil Cox who says, "Hi Nick." Keep up the good work. The Archibald's Leeds design and the bricks can't be seen by drone, but if you look at the Everton YouTube stadium build, becomes a oh the video stadium build becomes a building at two minutes thirty four. They have a close up of the brickwork showing darker bricks, picking out the design. I don't know if you get a screen grab for your midweek video. Is it copyright? Okay, so I don't know whether I don't think that would be copyright, um, but I have got. So what what we're looking at is the thanks for that Neil as well. What we're looking at is this. The brickwork is meant to have the the crisscross Archibald Leach design, and and what a lot of people have been saying, and even I've been saying, is it's it's not visible. However, um, I I've got a, a a photograph here which I'll share right now. Um, look at the left hand side of this picture. Now this isn't taken from from the the video that you've given me um, there, Neil. It's somebody's actually sent me this. Somebody who's either on site or down there or something. Somebody sent me this one. And look at the left hand side you can see it visible so all it is it's it's faint and because there's i think there's gaps in all of the the um the brick facades at the moment that's why it's hard to put together but when it when it's all there i think it'll be then very very visible um so yeah neil it, it is definitely there and guys that there's a there's a picture that i wanted to to share with you to show you it is there um 100 it's there it's it's just hard to see on the camera as well because let's, let's keep in mind i'm most of the time i'm like 80 meters up and uh, and a good at least 50 meters away um uh, using zoom and stuff so we got to keep that in mind as well but look that arch release design is there as we can see on the on the screenshot just having a pan across the uh the site now i'll pan back as well so we can have a good look thanks for that neil and thanks for the the person that sent me that picture i won't i won't say your name Okay, so moving on, we've got great vid as always, Nick. Stadium looking fantastic. Looks like they're starting to build the roof of the West Stand. Yeah, it does, doesn't it, Tony? Yeah, yeah. Um, did I see your name at the beginning, Tony Curran? Sorry, this is from Tony Curran. Um, just outside the stadium. Yeah, we had a look at that. Also, is it true we were originally going to build the stadium on the Nelson Dock, but couldn't because of too many foreign objects in the dock? Also, can you possibly get a shot with the tobacco warehouse in the background? to see in comparison to the height of the stadium. Well, thanks for that, Tony. Yeah, I'm not gonna go back up around the around the West End now because of battery and stuff. Um, but I will get a shot um, of it with the Tobacco Stadium in the background. I think that might be a deceiving shot though as well because the Tobacco Stadium's quite, you know, uh, in the distance. Um, so that's Nelson Dock there, the next one along, we refer to. And I've kept in uh, Graham Bramwood's reply, who says, I don't think Peel were ever going to allow us to build on Nelson Dock. They would not have been able to find a purpose for Bramley Moor Dock if it was in between a football stadium and a water treatment plant. The stadium creates a barrier between the water treatment plant and the rest of Liverpool waters. It's a great response, Graham. And all I will say, uh, Tony, is I, I didn't know that we, we ever had plans to put it there instead of where it is, on, on Nelson Dock, instead of Bramley Moor. Uh, that's, that's, that's the first I've heard, Tony. Has anybody else heard that, though? Obviously, I don't, I don't hear or read every single thing. Is anybody else did, aware of that? Did we originally want it on Nelson Dock? Anybody, um, let us know, please. Be, be really interesting one to know that. 
picture looks great from there, doesn't it? That shot, just looking straight on at it. Um, and yeah, Tony, um, I will uh, keep in mind to try and get a shot, uh, getting the tobacco warehouse in the background. To do that, though, I'll have to go uh, probably right out, uh, back past the, the northwest corner up there. And like I say, it'll probably be quite a deceiving shot. But I'll do it. I'll look at doing it on my, on my weekend video. Okay, so keep an eye out for that, Tony. Thanks for the suggestion. And guys, there you go. That brings me to the end of the questions and comments put to you lovely people put by from you lovely people this week to me okay so what we'll do i'm gonna get the drone down now uh finish off and uh we'll go straight to my face right now okay everyone so there you go that was my midweek video of uh, the everton stadium at bramley moor dock uh, covering all your questions and comments thank you very much for them um all your question comments make the content of this this these midweek videos so it's really appreciated uh, well done to everyone and there was a lot of you that did spot the um, the West Stand uh, steelworks going on which we think is, is the roof or, or it's, it looks like actually they're, they're starting to put steel frame probably for those uh, for more of the um, seating uh, the what am I trying the terrace seating going up see what my words today have not been great have they uh, my words my, my <laughs> speech whatever um, so yeah guys uh, thanks to thanks to all of you for that um, it's it's uh, Everton v Arsenal tonight at Arsenal. Not really looking forward to that, guys. But you never know. You never know. We put we done one uh, put one over on them uh, at, at our place, didn't we? Uh, so fingers crossed we can get something out of tonight's game. Very tough game. Um, so luckily, luckily for us Blues, um, it's not it's not on the TV. I don't think so. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh no. Fingers crossed. Eh? Fingers crossed we get those points. Um, next game I'm at is Brentford uh, in a week's in a week's time. Week on Saturday. Um, if I just turn around at that, I'm just looking at, I can see the the uh, the brick facades at the at the northeast corner, just like over the wall. And do you know what, even looking at it with the, with the naked eye from here, I still can't see that, the, uh, you know, the design. But like I showed in that video, it's definitely there. Um, thanks to everybody who sends me pictures and everything like that as well. Uh, aside, you know, as well as the comments, all the pictures and, and everything that I get. Um, you know, even this morning I was getting pictures that people are taking from over the water, zoomed in, saying the crane's connected in there. I really appreciate it everything you all do um, and your suggestions as well you know there was a suggestion in there for me to to add in uh, photos from the month before and that all suggestions are, are most welcome as well so yeah guys keep keep all that coming please please like share and subscribe um, really really appreciate you all for any uh, branded clothing like this this go there um, other than that guys take care oh this well I forgot to mention this week my what football oh god I'm so my weekly football video this week that's released Friday. I have an Everton fan and a Liverpool fan in the studio, okay? So uh, we'll see what happens there. Uh, should be a good one. Uh, Everton and Liverpool fan in to have, a, to have a good chat and go over some things. So um, yeah, should be a good one. We'll obviously talk tonight's games as well because both Everton and Liverpool are playing. Everton playing Arsenal, as I've just said. Liverpool have got Wolves at home. So uh, we'll discuss them. Uh, but yeah, anyway guys, for now, that was my midweek video of the Everton Stadium at Bramley Moor Dock. See you at the weekend.